Disgaea 3, absence of detention! Welcome to the Nether Institute Evil Academy, dude! Wow, dude! Mr. Champ Lou, the home ec teacher, and I will introduce you to campus life at Evil Academy, dude! All right. Let's do this! Awesome, dude! I'm caught up with the NIS America here uh, in the rather desolate uh, hallway of uh, Moscone South to find out a little bit more about this Gaia 3 that's coming out on PS Vita. So, for those unfamiliar with this Gaia, could you just give us a brief, uh, brief presentation of what ga Absolutely. that game is about? Uh, this Gaia 3 uh, for the Vita is a reincarnation of the PS3 version uh, and plus more, which means that it has all the downloadable contents that was provided for the PS3 version, which includes all the characters, uh, additional features, and also the Raspberry chapters, all into the, uh, the Vita version, and plus more. And then Ryan could describe a little bit about some of the newly added functions and characters and story chapters for the Vita version. All right, take it away, Ryan. All right. So uh, basically with Sky 3, um, first and foremost is they implemented the front and back touchscreen functions. Uh, with the game and then uh, going along with that there's another really interesting function about the GPS um, in that basically with a function like the PS Vita while you're playing the game and you're traveling for example in an airplane in a car um, and you're playing this guy three it basically the amount of distance that you've traveled translates into like a stat boost with the game so you know if you're on a flight to China or if you're on a train basically and you're physically playing the game um, you know, that'll translate into some stat boosts. So that's one of the ways that we were able to basically, uh, you know, implement some of the new PS Vita functionality to the game. So we're pretty excited about that. Sounds really interesting. Have you, have you tried that out for yourself? Have you been on any long trips? Uh, so far, uh, this is the, close, the farthest I've gone from, you know, Southern California is to come up here to San Francisco for GDC. So not just yet, but yeah, we're just really excited about it. So hopefully, you know, if I get to go to uh, Tokyo Game Show, Jack, uh, we'll see if, uh, you know, if I can definitely use it on the airplane. So we're definitely excited. So, so um, what is it about Disgaea 3 that made you want to bring it out to, uh, to, the, to the PS Vita? invite Jack back in here. Uh, what is it about the game that you felt would, would fit the, the PS Vita well? Well, it's, a, it's more of a new challenge for us uh, because we never really created a, uh, like a true like, strategy RPG game for the handheld, especially with the touch features. And then so we wanted to uh, see how the game would translate it uh, into with all the newest technologies. And it, it came out quite well, especially with all the new features and um, the graphics OLED came out really nicely for the Vita. So you can see all the little details. And again, like PS, being a uh, port from the original PS3 version, it does have the same sprites. But uh, even with that, the screen is just beautiful. So. I, I think it's a it's a good challenge for us, and it came out uh, quite well. Uh, there are a few more things that we could like sort of work on, but again, that's something that we could do for the next titles that might be coming out in uh, like near future. So uh, please look forward to it. And this is just the beginning, and I hope uh, a lot of the the players and the fans out there could sort of enjoy the new uh, reincarnation of this guy at three. So is it, a, is it a good place to start with your first Disguise game, with uh, Disguise 3 on, on PS Vita? Absolutely. Um, the reason is because if you haven't played the original Disguise 3 on the PS3, and if you have a PS Vita, there's no reason why to not to get the PS, uh, PS Vita version, because you do get maybe over $80 worth of downloadable contents, plus more, and all the new features in a single package that's basically $39.99. So you're getting a heck of a deal for the, for the amount of contents you're going to be playing. Sounds like one of the, the most content-heavy PS Vita titles out there. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so, so how many hours would you, would you estimate that, that might be in the game? Just standard playthrough of the game. That's, I mean, um, if you're going just for just standard story mode, 40 hours. 40 hours or so, um, but I mean, um, on top of that, I mean, there's brand new chapters, there's the cameo ca uh, character chapters, and then, you know, uh, and then 
then we open the item world, and in the item world is where you know a lot of the infinite replayability happens. So I mean, you can basically uh, hundreds of hours. I mean, it it really is a lot. And what's great is you can actually compare how much you played and how much content you had uh, with all the other players that's playing the PS Vita version because it has one of those ranking system and you'll see all the other players ranking and how much they played and sort of try to beat their records and you want to try to like you know like get all the like top scores and like the hours you played and some of these people they spend like three four hundred hours so um, that's uh, quite a bit of content right there. So we mentioned newcomers to the series. So for, for fans who've already played this guy 3 a lot, is there any, any sort of things that sort of, do the titles communicate in any way? That's uh, one thing we try to implement when the uh, PS Vita was first announced. Um, the only problem was it was really difficult to sort of grab the PS3 save data and convert that into the PS Vita version, and which we weren't able to sort of uh, pull it off in time. So unfortunately for the original PS3 players, we won't be able to sort of carry over the save files. But, but then again, if you are a real hardcore fan and if you want to try to see what the new story chapters are and like all the new uh, system and the new uh, character classes, then I, I think it is worth uh, the $39.99, so. This guy at three, absence of detention, go! I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.